Hi Libra, welcome to your singles reading who's coming towards me for the month of November. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, how to book a personal reading, the decks I'm using, social media links, uh, my email and my um, post office boxes down there if you want to send mail of any kind, uh, my Amazon wish list, ways to tip or donate, my PayPal link is below. Tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. Welcome all new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for those who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or a donation to the channel, your support really means a lot to me in enabling me to do these free readings for you. I truly love to do it, so thank you. And if you subscribe, it will help me to better co uh, connect to your energy. So please keep that in mind. So thank you to everybody for helping the channel's growth really means a lot and thank you thank you thank you okay let's get going here for libra singles who's coming towards you this is a fun reading so hopefully it will resonate for some and actually maybe in a way come true for some if not it's sort of just a fun reading so you know, we'll see see what we get so take what resonates throw away what doesn't i mean i could even pick up on a past um situation for you also so please keep that in mind if I pick up on an energy and you say, gee, I already met somebody like that in my past or whatever, that can also happen too. So please keep that in mind. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Libra, for you singles is get a couple signs just for the heck of it. See what signs we get for you of who may be coming towards you. What could be a couple signs coming towards Libra for the month of November or there on after or from the time you watch this tell whenever it doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's going to happen exactly in the month of November. Um, it could happen next November, you know, so let's see what we have here. So let's see what we have for Libra. We have sun, which is Leo energy. So that's Leo. And then we have Pisces. So we have Leo and Pisces. So we have fire and water for you guys. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So you are air, sun, Leo, fire, Pisces is water. Or you could even meet somebody that has those signs in their chart. If you know, or vice versa, whatever here. All right. So now that we got the signs, possible signs, let's look into oh, that one wanted to fall out. What kind of person will this be? Who are they? What is their energy like? What kind of person is this for Libra? <clears throat> what is their energy like for Libra for the month of November? What is the energy like of this person coming forward to Libra possibly? Who are they? What is their energy? What are they like? Destiny, Wheel of Fortune. So this may be somebody here who has uh, good luck, uh, they're very smart, things always go in their favor. Um, seems like everything just always works out for them and they could also bring like good luck to those around them. They could give good advice and also uh, lead people to make wise decisions for um, their future. This could be somebody who is a leader, a guider, a counselor, who uh, leads and guides people into their destiny um that's a wheel of fortune so that's fame fortune luck expansion things are going in the right direction uh divine timing energy so i feel like this person uh is very grounded like i said they could be you know they could be just like a, a counselor an advisor or something like that a coach some kind of like life coach or someone very wise who leads people to live out their destiny in some way and I feel like they are also living out their destiny and they have very good luck. Everything seems to go and fall into perfect timing for them. Everything goes with the goes with the flow for them. They know how to go with the flow. They know how to connect to divine energy and just let things be as they are and let comes let things come in divine timing and how they're supposed to be. So someone who also could be very connected to their faith, the spirituality to source and know that everything is divine and it comes as it's meant to be. Wow, so somebody, I feel like, is very wise, smart, uh, 
spiritually in all ways. Wow. Okay. It's a nice energy. All right. So when, let's see, like what time of year, like what season, what season, when could you possibly meet this person, Libra? When could Libra possibly meet this person? Spirit team, please. Thank you. Can we have one card for Libra? Let's see what we have. So we have um, air energy here, which is swords. So I'm not reading the cards. I'm just taking... Um, well, this one I, I did kind of a way to get the energy of the person. But this I'm just reading uh, this, the uh, suit, which will give me... The time frame so swords here this is the two of swords which is air energy which is winter so you can meet them in the winter time so you can meet them in the second month of winter which could be december or january the second week of winter this on the second day a date on in that month that has a two in it um or something like that or you could even meet them in february because winter does go till february also Starts, what, uh, November till February, right? Yeah, so, okay. So I'm getting winter, possibly February, second second day, second week, on the second, a date that has a two in it, or the second month of winter, which would either be December or January, or that could be February. All right, so... Let's see now where, like where could you meet this person? Like what kind of, um, like where, where? Okay, so now we have the, yes, yeah, the two of swords, is this the same? Yeah, so now we have air energy. So Just trying to get the energy of the card here. So you could meet them. I'm getting, oh, those are her wings. But to me, it looked like rocky, like mountain ledgy area. So you could meet them out walking or because you see some clouds, sun and clouds there. So you could meet them, you know, I'm getting like an outside activity, like walking, hiking or something like that. Uh, yeah, I'm getting something outside where you could be walking or hiking in the park or something like three is also a very social number. So you could be out socializing in the park uh, or somewhere, you know, like an outside attraction. Well, in the wintertime, maybe you're walking through a Christmas display, you know, like one of those winter wonderlands <laughs> or something like that. And maybe you're looking at like angels because this is an angel here and you're looking at angels or something like that. And uh, I've just got like angel on top of the Christmas tree or something like that. And maybe, you know, you're just looking at the lights and you run into this person. Hmm, okay. It's a little bit different. And winter isn't too far away what's coming up. Actually, winter starts in December, I'm sorry. So, yeah, so you can meet them, yeah, in January or February, I'm thinking here, second week second you know the second day of the month or a date that has a two in it and i'm thinking here it could be um it could be like out looking at christmas displays or something like that or at a park or um something like that something outside <laughs> okay so so that is the where but how how will you come upon this person and meet them. We got the outside part, either at like a festival, like maybe it could be a Christmas festival or a park or uh, something like that. Or you could just be outside walking or something. So looks like how, like how. So this is the nine of cups energy. So, again, you've got the water here. So maybe there's like a, well, if it's in the winter, I don't think it's going to be a waterfall unless you know, you're in a warm part of the country. Or um, it could be a waterfall or something like that. You know, I, I, I have the feeling of you're both going to be looking at the same thing. 
Um, again, with the water there, you know, it could be in a park, in the greenery. Um, it could be on a warm day in the winter where you're at the park or by the water or something like that. Or again, or like going through a Christmas display and um, you're just kind of looking at the same thing and you kind of just start up a conversation of some kind. Okay, so now that we have that, so if you start, you know, connecting with this person, say you start talking, talking about the displays or talking about the weather, could be, um, oops, how did I get in there? Could be about the weather since you have like sky clouds here and then you have like the waterfall there, but you know, maybe you're talking about the weather, oh, how you know warm it is on this winter day or how cold it is or whatever here, or if you're, you know, say at a Christmas festival or something, and my ear's ringing, and, you know, you're talking about the display, you just happen to, you know, bump into each other, oh, I'm sorry, and then you just start talking, you know. All right, so, if, I think this person's going to have a very bright, light personality here, as you see all this, like, light energy here. And also here, so I think this person is going to be um, have a very light, airy, fun energy about them. Very spiritual. All right. And I think they're going to know how to work with that energy. So if you connect with this person, Libra, what kind of connection will it be for Libra? We have two here. Within the next few weeks and don't stop. So what I'm getting with that is that I think it'll move very quickly. Like they may say, hey, do you want to you know, meet up for a cup of coffee, you know, or even go on a date. And, you know, and I think you'll probably make that date or whatever it is within a couple of weeks when you meet this person. And I think you're just, you know, you're not going to stop seeing each other within a few weeks and don't stop. So I think this will kind of move very quickly, I'm feeling, between the two of you. Wow. Okay. So... Let's see. So that, that's also saying, you know, if you feel the connection uh, with this person, you like their energy, their personality, uh, don't stop. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, if I do read the energies of the cards here, I did feel like this could be fate and destiny, meaning this person with the Wheel of Fortune here. Somebody may have conflict or indecision about... Um, you know, going on a date or whatever, you know, it could be you or them. I'm feeling it might be you since that's your energy with the air. So we got two and three of swords here, which is your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you may have conflict or indecision. You know, you may be very indecisive about whether or not you want to take up this offer because maybe you just got over something with the heartache and loss here. So you made it just come out of a, some sort of a loss or a breakup or something like that. But this person's going to see you and say, wow, you know, this is like wish come true, wish fulfillment. This is fulfillment of wishes. So that's dreams and wishes coming true and happiness, joy kind of energy. So this person is going to look at you as a dream come true energy. So this could be a wish fulfillment type of energy coming towards you. If you don't let this mental conflict and whatever you went through in the past block you from this energy. And they may want to take you out like right away within the few weeks of when you meet them. And they're not going to want to stop seeing you. <laughs> they're not going to want to stop seeing you. So let's get your advice. Let's get your advice in this connection. Let's get your advice, Libra, in this connection. What is Libra's advice with this connection if they decide to go with this person, meet this person, go on a date with this person. What is their advice? Surrender. I can release my need to control. Exactly. So this is telling you to surrender to this connection. You may feel, like I said, blocked and indecisive, but spirit wants you to know you don't have to control this to go with the flow. And this could be a destined person coming your way and just surrender to this and just let it go. Just let it be. Just let what happens happens. All right, so let's do a little bit of clarification with the tarot here. See what we get for you, Libra. Libra, I like this energy of this person. 
um, and it, they could be very different from anybody that you've uh, dated before, and maybe that may be why you could be a little hesitant there with the mental conflict. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's clarify. What do I want to clarify here? <sighs> Let's see what comes out, and then I'll see where I feel it goes. So what do we have here for Libra, for November, singles, with who's coming towards them? What do we need to clarify? What other information can you give us? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we have the hangman, which is the Pisces energy here, and we have the seven of wands, which is Leo Sagittarius, which clarifies Leo there. So I feel like you may, this is being defensive and on guard, and this is being like not really taking any action, being stuck. I feel like you're going to kind of be stuck and like put your guard up against this person, I feel like. You're going to be like, mm, yeah, I don't know. And it may take you a while to respond to this person. I mean, you may talk to them when you, um, but maybe you're just, you know, thinking you're striking up friendly conversation. You don't think, well, this is going to go anywhere. I'm just talking to the person next to me. But this person sees you and I think it's like it's an instant like attraction. I'm almost getting like a love at first sight type of thing. But I think you're going to be defensive against them. And you're going to be hung up here and not really know what to do. Uh, kind of energy. You may be slow to respond to them. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> you may be saying, uh, I'll get back to you or something like that. Yeah, because here, Princess of Cups, so this is the love offer. This is an offer. So this could be, you know, an offer of a date. Or let's, you know, see the cup there. You know, this is message, communication. So I definitely see you communicating with this person. And they may say, hey, you know, let's meet up for a drink, a cup of coffee. Can I take you out on a date? But I think you're going to kind of block them, be indecisive, and be like, eh, just kind of, you may, uh like not answer them like they may be asking and you may just not answer them that night you may be like trying to um yeah prince of one so now we got fire energy here here's the leo sag aries leo energy here so again taking that action so this person is really going to want to take action towards you they really want to move things forward they really want to take you out go on a date like i said drink coffee you're going to be hesitant and kind of defensive against this person, I feel. I do feel feel that. All right, what else? What else do we have for Libra? Ten of Wands and the Three of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like this could be your energy of, you know, tens are about um, endings, completion. Ten of Wands, something very burdensome. So you might have just ended something that was very burdensome to you um, here. And then you got the Three of Wands. So this is, you know, patiently waiting. This is just waiting. So, you know, maybe you've been, you know, waiting. I'm getting like three years. So have you been single for three years and, you know, just haven't wanted to date anybody? <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, this is just, you know, waiting, waiting, waiting. Like not really doing anything like... Three wants also an energy of like knowing where you want to go, where you want to do, but you have to wait for the right time or wait for that opportunity to come in at the right time or, you know, it's coming, but you have to wait till it gets there so you can get on board with that. So I feel like they're going to be waiting because waiting, waiting, they're going to be waiting for you to reply to them because they're really going to want to, you may, they may give you their number, uh, and say, you know, get back to me. And I think you're going to wait a very long time before you contact them. Or um, you're not really going to give them an answer right away at the time you meet them. Uh, I mean, they may follow you, not follow you around all night, but uh, I don't know. Let's see, what do we have here? Three of Pentacles. So, you know, this is teamwork, collaboration, working together, compromise. So you may give in, you may give in here. And this is a social, threes are always like a social number. So I, I do feel like this is going to be like an outside social setting of some kind. So, and you see the threes pentacles there shaped like a triangle, which kind of reminds me of like a Christmas tree, you know. 
So I do feel like around Christmas time, before or after, something like that. So you may give in and finally just give them your number. But maybe you're thinking, oh, you know, I, maybe I just won't answer the call. I just won't call him. Or you may say, well, why don't you give me your number and I'll call you back. And then you may not. <laughs> I don't know. But I think Spirit wants you to tell you this could be your person. Because with fate and destiny there, with the Wheel of Fortune, that's something meant to be. Five of Cups. Yeah, so sadness, loss here again. Um, so, yeah, this, you know, I think also if you don't go with this person or whatever, I think they're going to feel very sad and hurt. They're going to feel some sort of connection with you right away. And that's also could be your energy of, you know, I just got over something and I'm still hurt. I'm getting over that and sad over that loss. Because you got the Ten of Wands here. And you have heartache and loss here. So something very painful here also. So let's see if there's anything else for you. But I feel like this person is a really good energy. Uh, I feel like this is your energy and this is their energy. And... Um, Okay, so what else do we have for Libra? Well, that's way too many. Okay, this one wanted to stay on the table. The moon. So there's a Pisces energy again. So it could be a strong Pisces connection or someone who has Pisces as their sun or moon sign and they could have Leo. They could have Leo as their sun sign and maybe Pisces as their moon sign. But moon here... Um, you know, this can be an energy of not seeing things clearly, not knowing all the facts. But, you know, things do come to light eventually here. Can talk of secrets or that kind of energy. But I'm not getting that energy. Um, it's like you, you don't know. I mean, you don't know all the facts. You don't know how it's going to go. You know, and the moon is also about intuition and things like that. So, you know, I think you just need to... Because you got the moon here, you got the moon here. So, I mean, you can't predict how this is going to go. You can't say and talk it down in your head and say, well, it's just not going to work because blah, blah, blah. Maybe they're different from me. You know, maybe, you know, you talk to this person and they say, oh, I'm very spiritual. I do this, I do that, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, well, you know, that's not my type of person. But, you know, you can't judge people. You don't know how things are going to go in the future. Because you have the Three of Cups here. So this is coming together, rejoicing, reuniting, having a good time, going out, having a drink, and socializing. So, and there's the brand new passionate beginning with the Ace of Wands. So, you know, you may decide, and I just placed this Three of Cups on the Prince, Princess of Cups and the Prince of Wands. So, you know, you may um, eventually decide to go out with this person. Maybe you'll just give in that night and say, okay, go out once, see how it goes. So, you know, you'll go out for a drink. Again, social setting have a good time, go out for a drink, socialize, and then it's going to spark, I think it's going to um, create a spark here. You're going to really get to know this person um, a little more on that night, and it's going to have uh, a new spark here. It's going to spark, have a spark between the two of you, and that's a brand new beginning. All the aces are here are divinely guided uh, beginnings, so it's a spark, it's passion, it's creative, it's exciting. So you may feel, wow, you know, I kind of do like this person. And that's the spark of a brand new beginning, passionate beginning there. And it's all going to depend on whether or not you take them up on a date or a drink or something like that. And just let things unfold naturally with the moon energy here. You can't predict how everything will go. Just let it unfold naturally as with the Wheel of Fortune there. So Libra, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I love to read the comments. If you hit the bell, you'll get four readings a month. You'll get a singles reading who's coming towards me if you're single. I also do a spirit guide messages, what you need to know at this time from uh, spirit. I do a love connection reading, and I also do a general reading, a tarot forecast also, and those are all monthly. So if you would like that, please subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss a reading, and you'll get all the notifications. And if you do, thank you. So good luck to you, Libra. Uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.